Hello students the first chapter of your history is how when and where in this we learn what is history sources of history how india got its name and meaning of dates the first one is what is history the story of human kind's past is called history history tells us about various developments which have taken place in the human society in different periods so why we study history let us look at following points in order to understand why we have to study history history helps us in knowing about the past kings kingdoms and their society history tells us about the way people lived the food they ate and the clothes they wore history tells us about the occupation of people history tells us about the great achievements of our ancestors history tells about the mistakes made by our ancestors history will also tell us about the games children played during a particular time we learn from history to make a better future during prehistoric times people lived at various places Let us look at few following places where our ancestor lived in the Indian subcontinent. Banks of the river Narmada. Suleiman and Kirtar hills of the northwest. Garo hills in the northeast and the Vindhyas in the central India. River Indus and its tributaries. River Ganga and its tributary Sun. Let us study about these places in detail. The first one is River Narmada. For several thousand years, people lived near the banks of the Narmada. They were hunters. It means they lived a nomadic life. They did not lead any settled life. Suleiman and Kirtar Hills. People lived in the Suleiman and Kirtar Hills about 8000 years ago. They were the first people to start farming. They used to grow crops like wheat and barley. They also started domesticating animals. They tamed animals like sheep, goat and cattle. People lived a settled life. During this time, villages started coming into existence. Garo Hills and the Vindhyas. People living in Garo Hills were the first to grow rice. Rice was also grown towards the north of the Vindhyas. About 4700 years ago, the cities developed near the banks of indus and its tributaries ganga and sun it was about 2500 years ago when cities also developed on the banks of the ganga some cities also developed along the tributaries of the ganges some cities also developed along the sea coast the name of our country you must be wondering how our country got its name India is known by many names like Aryavarta, Jambudvipa, Bharatavarsha, Bharat, Hindustan, India, etc. Out of them, India, Hindustan and Bharat are more frequently used names. Let us learn about the names India and Bharat. The first one is India. The people from Iran and Greece came to northwest of india thus they became very familiar with the river indus they called it indos or hindos the land to the east of this river came to be known as india bharat the name bharat came because of the term bharata people who lived in the northwest were known as bharata they were mentioned in rigveda sources of history then how do we study history how do we get to know about our past our ancestors and the events that took place in the past for this there are sources and these sources will tell us about history and these sources are manuscripts inscriptions coins and archaeological sites manuscripts a handwritten book is called manuscript Before the discovery of printing 
books were handwritten the early manuscripts were written on palm leaves and on bark of birch trees the ancient manuscript give a lot of information about religious beliefs practices life of kings medicine signs poems plays epics and many more inscriptions the text written on stone slabs is called inscription an inscription on stone could survive longer than a manuscript most of the inscriptions contain some order or announcement by a king such announcements were written in an inscription so that large number of people could read them some inscriptions contain good deeds of people especially of those kings and merchants the inscriptions and manuscripts from ancient periods were usually written in sanskrit or prakrit or tamil coins coins were first developed in ancient greece during 600 bc these coins will give us information about the king of that period because coins usually contain the image of that king they will also tell us about the level of skill among artisans during that period archaeological sites sites from where historical remains are obtained are called archaeological sites buildings and monuments they will all come under archaeological sites artifacts and other items drawn from different archaeological sites will give us very rich information to know about a period let us understand the meaning of dates dates are very important while studying history because these dates will help us arranging the events in some sequences while discussing history we use two distinct terms that is bc and ad the term bc stands for before christ on the other hand we have ad which stands for anno domini which means in the year of the lord sometimes ce is used instead of ad and it means common era similarly bce is used instead of bc and it means before the common era Thank you so much for watching keep watching and keep learning I shall be back with a new lesson thank you